Hello everyone, thanks for joining us today and welcome to this educational presentation of the three top stocks to buy in May. Now, this isn't something where we're gonna be giving you recommendations for something that happened a month ago. I'm actually taking this title from a website advisory service that uh, roughly about a month ago uh, on their website uh, announced the three top stocks that you should be buying for the upcoming month. So we're gonna show you how well they performed and then we're gonna show you how well you could have performed using our techniques that we teach you, okay? Rather than just simply buying based off someone's recommendation. For example, let me just share with you one of the stocks, which is right here, UA. And as you can see here, here's the beginning of the month. And had you simply purchased, well, it looked like things were going your way right off the bat and then look what happened, okay? So I'm gonna show you where actually you could have made money trading this stock using all the techniques and methods and strategies that I have in our new elite stock trading college. We're gonna be talking about that as well. And really what we wanna do and focus on is having you as the trader make your own trading decisions, show you how much better you can do once you're in charge of your own trading. So this promises to be a great presentation. Welcome once again, my name is Stephen Primo. I'm the president and founder of Specialist Trading. And as you can see, we are all about educating you as traders. It's not in our interest at all to force feed you signals or tell you what the best stocks are to buy for last month or for the upcoming month. I really feel that that's really a recipe for a disaster, telling someone what to buy or sell, because basically you're taking yourself out of the game if you simply follow what someone else is doing, because uh, you're, you're no longer a part of the process. I've been trading for 40 years, and if there's one thing I learned, the only way to become consistent is by making your own trading decisions and not relying on a website advisory service, not relying on someone in a chat room, not even relying on some convoluted indicator to tell you what to do, but relying on the thing that's in front of you, the chart or the market that you're currently trading. Now, I've been trading for 40 years. I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for 16 years. Nine of those years, I was a specialist. That's where we get the name specialist trading. Now, if you're not familiar with what a specialist does, if you ever Google the pictures of the people on the trading floor where they're screaming and shouting and there's paper all over the floor, the specialists were those traders behind those large wooden podiums that were basically making markets in roughly about 50 or 60 stocks. So if you wanted to buy or sell a particular issue, you had to go to the trader who specialized or who made markets in those stocks. So I did that for roughly nine years. I traded through the crash of 1987 and the bull market that followed. I've traded in every environment that you can think of, straight down markets, straight up markets, sideways markets, uh, crazy volatile markets, quiet markets. I've traded just about every strategy and system you can think of, every indicator. So in my 40 years, my four decades of trading, I know what works in terms of consistency and I know what doesn't. So I can really shorten your learning curve by becoming a student of mine. That's what we do at Specialist Trading. We simply teach and mentor all of our students around the world in over 110 countries and virtually every state in the United States, all the strategies and uh, insights and wisdom, as you see here, that I've accumulated in my four decades of trading. So hopefully we can elevate your trading, but our main goal is to put you in charge of your own decision making. So this promises to be a great presentation. I'm going to show you how you could have elevated your trading this past month. But before we begin, we are required to show you this as always. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results and how you could have traded these three supposedly top stocks for the past month. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. We're required to show you this. And as you're taking a brief moment to view our disclaimer, uh, if you haven't done so already, I'd like to invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. You may want to copy down our handle there at a, uh, or I should say at SPC L-S-T-T-R-A-D-G abbreviation for specialist trading, obviously. Uh, I post different things on a daily basis, anywhere from little bits of wisdom I've accumulated to actual signals that our strategies have generated. But remember, they're, they're just for educational purposes. And we post information on not only on stocks, but on futures and on currency pairs as well, and ETF. So lots of great free information. Feel free, and I hope you follow us on Twitter. Now, as I stated at the very opening of this presentation, it is my belief after four decades of trading that if you take your signals, if you trade based off what someone is telling you or something is telling you, you really open yourself up for a disaster because you're taking yourself out of the game. As you see here, my goal is not to force feed you signals. My goal is not to tell you what the perfect stock is to trade. My goal is not to tell you what the perfect time frame is. 
My goal is not to tell you what the perfect market is. My goal is simply to teach you all the things I've accumulated and the same things that were taught to me. And that's the specialist edge. Now, when I first started trading, I've made no secret about this. My first year on the floor, even though I was uh, privy to advanced information, I had access to all these different things. Uh, you know, I knew what the institutions were doing. I knew where support and resistance was in my book of all the stocks I was trading. I still struggled tremendously. Even though I was actually on the floor, I was no different from someone who was trading for the first couple of weeks, you know, in their career. I was lucky enough to have some uh, mentors in my life. These were specialists as well who had been trading roughly about 30 or 40 years between them. And they turned my trading around by teaching me the same things that I teach in my courses. So if it's been able to sustain me for 40 years, I hope it's going to be able to sustain you as well. And basically, it's rooted in simplicity and by making you a part of the process. Now, since this is going to be an educational presentation, I want and encourage you to ask me questions, but please wait till the very end of this class, because if we if we stop for every uh, question, uh, this short 35, 40 minute webinar will turn into a, a four hour webinar. So if we could just hold off to the last 15 minutes, it shouldn't be very long. And then we'll reserve the last portion for any questions that you may have. I'll, I'll just answer one question, the most uh, common one. And that is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. So if you have to leave early or if you're having technical difficulties, uh, just uh, contact Pro Trader Strategies, my sister site, and they will be able to furnish you with a link to this recording. OK, so if you happen to join us uh, a little late, remember to keep your questions till the very end. All right. So let's begin and let's start out with what this uh, website uh, advised all their members and uh, people visiting to buy for the month of May. Remember, this was just a month ago, but we want to show you how they perform. These were the three top stocks that uh, they recommended. Uh, BOFI was number one, number two was UA, and number three was AZO. So these were their, their recommendations for the month. So let's take each one of these individually. And we're using here, just to let you know, uh, I'd like to beat uh, our horn here that uh, uh, Pro Trader Strategies and uh, Specialist Trading have developed a new trading platform, and we're displaying it right now. This is our PTS Primo charts, which is a great platform. And as you can see here, it has all of our uh, methods and strategies right here in the uh, uh, the green strategy tab. All right, so here's where May started. Now, as you can see, the stock kind of went sideways. If we had purchased just hypothetically off of the opening of the first day of May, we see here that, well, not much happened in the first week. And then look what happened. The stock went down. This was where the closing was, okay, uh, at the end of May. So you wouldn't have done very well had you just simply bought and, uh, you know, got given any other instructions other than this is a great stock to buy. Now, here's the next one, UA. Now, had you purchased on the very first day of uh, May, the beginning of the month, well, it went down for two or three days, but then it started to look very good. In fact, you have a nice profit coming into the end of the first week in Under Armour, but look what happened, okay? Now, this is all while the market is making you highs or at least not really uh, having a, a terrible move. And then the last one is AZO. Now, right off the bat, had you purchased this on the first day of May, well, that's a pretty good buy because for the next three or four days, it's going right in your direction. So you would not have lost any money. Unfortunately, this is what happened later on in the month. OK, this is the way 99.9% .9 of all traders trade. They take their decision from someone else or something else because they trust in them and they believe that they know the answers. And I can tell you once again, after my experience of trading for four decades, no one knows the answers any better than anyone else. The answers lie in the chart in front of you. Most people want to listen to someone in a chat room or someone on TV telling them what to do because we've never been trained to listen to the market. But that's where the source is, what you should be taking all your cues from, because the market tells you most of the time in advance what it wants to do. So let's look at the three top stocks for May results from, from this advisory service, how they would have performed. Now, please remember that past performance is not indicative of future results. These examples are for educational purposes only. So always invest wisely. We're just taking you, giving you the results for this past month. And this is if you had bought first of May and, and held on to the uh, last day. Okay, BOFI lost uh, 1.98 cents, okay, one uh, nearly two points, and the stock dropped 8.5%, okay, not a, not a great buy there. How about the next one, Under Armour, UA? Well, it lost 1.40 points, and it lost 7.2%. The stock lost uh, uh, fell 7.2% of its value, well, not very well either. 
Okay. And lastly, AZO. Well, this one really didn't perform well at all. It dropped, you know, it's a very expensive stock, but it dropped 77.16 points, but it lost, uh, the stock lost over 11% of its value in just a month. Okay. Once again, this is why most people fail because they're not putting themselves in the driver's seat. They're letting other people make their decisions for them. Not to say that every once in a while, some of these advisors may make some good recommendations, but you know, why would you trust someone with your hard earned money when you can see the results aren't any better than a lot of people who just started trading last month. So we have to ask ourselves, is there any way we could have bettered our results? Yes, there is. There's a tremendous way. And that's by listening to the market and not by listening to outside sources. This stands at the very core of our philosophy at Specialist Trading. And I'm saying this from firsthand experience because when I first started trading 40 years ago, I did the exact same thing. I subscribed to virtually every newsletter. I subscribed uh, to uh, you know all the periodicals to find out what everyone else was thinking. I waited with bated breath for every news announcement on the fundamental news for every earnings announcement. I, I waited to see what the uh, jobless claims were going to be, you know, for the economy. And I had tons of indicators on my screen that were supposed to tell me when to buy or sell. And guess what? For the first year, I couldn't make a dime. Okay, sure, I would have good trades every once in a while, but then when it didn't work, I gave literally everything back. And I did this for roughly over a year. I didn't know if I was going to be trading much longer because I wasn't producing anything. I was lucky enough to have mentors who were able to change my way of trading by telling me the same things I'm telling you. Basically, what they told me was, Steve, let go and strip away all this useless noise, which really has shown no levels of consistency, and learn how to listen to the thing you're trading, because that basically tells you what you should do. So to put it simply, they said trading is very simple. Your job as a trader is only twofold. There's only two things you have to do. The first thing is to listen to the market and find out which direction it wants to go, where it wants to go. And the second part is just to jump on board. That's it. It's not any more complicated than that. So I'm going to share with you what we're going to be offering you in our new elite stock trading colleges, which is going to be starting very soon this next month, where all of the things that I'm going to be teaching in the college, I'm going to share with you just a few of the techniques and strategies that you could have used based on these uh, stock recommendations in this uh, advisory service. All right. The first one is the pet D. This is by far our most popular tool. And I stress tool because that's all it is. It is a directional tool. What it does is it finely tunes the short term uh, direction of the market. So you know what the market wants to do. Remember, it's not an indicator that tells you how high the market will go. It doesn't tell you how low it will go. It doesn't tell you where to buy, where to sell. Sure, it will give you some guidelines and some benchmarks along the way. But really, all it is is a translator. Remember, our job is to listen to the market. Well, this is the best thing I know of that listens to the market. It's that finely tuned. We call it the PET-D because it's a proprietary algorithm, but it's really a roadmap for any market, any direction, or any time frame. So even though this is based off of stocks, you can use it for any market you like, currency pairs, Forex traders, or, or uh, for uh, futures traders. It works in any direction. So if you like to trade both long and short and in any time frame, I know we have some traders who trade intraday only. We also have some other ones who are only investors. So it's the best thing I know of for determining the short-term trend, and I've been applying this for uh, roughly uh, 40 years. Once again, it's proprietary. We're keeping the formula in-house, but we take all the work out for you so you don't have to calculate this on a bar-by-bar -bar basis. And it's a color bar algorithm, so all you have to do is look at the colors of the bars. A series of green bars tells you the short-term trend is up, and a series of red bars tells you the short-term trend is down. I know it seems simple, but let me show you how powerful this is. Here's a real-world example of Aetna. Now, this is the way most traders will trade. They'll wait to see an established trend, such as we have here, and they'll say, you know what? This is going up. Uh, the chat room that I belong to likes this stock, so I think I'll buy it. And, uh, you know, it looks like we're really all the institutions are in this, so I'm going to buy. And usually traders buy somewhere around here, which most often turns out to be the top. Okay. What if there are a tool that could tell us, I mean, not pinpoint exact tops and exact bottoms, but just at least give us fair warning when things are going to change. Well, there is. It's the pet D. All you have to do is add the pet D, the color bar. 
And as you can see here, we knew well back here when the bars were green that we were most likely going up. And we knew as early as back here, a couple of red bars that we were going lower. So as it states here in front of you, the beauty of the pet D is that it tells you which direction you should be trading. And once you know the trend, you can literally apply any strategy to that direction and you'll automatically increase your odds for consistency because you are in sync with the short term trend. OK, so let's see how this could have applied to the very first stock that they mentioned, BOFI by applying just simply by applying this trend directional tool. It's not even a strategy. It's just a trend directional tool. OK, now one of the first things we teach our students is, as you can see here, we're trend followers. We always want to be in sync with the trend. We don't want to ever try and pick tops and bottoms because, as I stated earlier, that's a recipe for disaster. OK, I, I, trust me, I did it and I know I, I, I uh, if you don't believe me, uh, I tried to actually pick a bottom during the crash of 1987. And I'm sure you can see what the results were out of that day. So the point is, sure, picking tops and bottoms may work uh, every once in a while. But if you're looking for consistency, it's much better to trade in sync with the overall trend. But how do we find the overall trend? Well, without getting too much involved in explaining it, we have one of the best tools here, which is our buy sell line. As you see in this, the uh, tab strategy tab right here, all you have to do with our PTS Primo charts is simply click on the buy sell line, all right, right here. And it will automatically give you different choices to see what the overall trend is. Now, in this case, we chose the uh, bottom color band ribbon. And you can see the bottom now displays a reddish orange color. That is signifying that the overall trend is down. If we were in an uptrend, it would give you a light blue color. So we knew before May came in that we were in an overall downtrend. You see how simple this is? I mean, why would you buy anything if the overall trend is down? But this is the way most traders trade. You know, it's like you'll get on a train that's going the opposite direction. Wouldn't it be a lot simpler if you got on the train that was going in the direction you wanted to go? But most traders will try and pick tops and bottoms, and this is why most traders fail. It's been estimated upwards of 85%. So when you come in, if you were a, a member of our courses, you knew that there's no way you would be buying BOFI until the overall trend changed. So that's the overall trend. Let's look at the short term trend. So how do we do that? Well, once again, we go to the strategy tab here and just click on the PET D, the PET D fast. That's the standard model. And once you do that, well, now the colors change. So now we see that where the uh, short term trend is in sync with the overall trend. Now, I know a lot of traders constantly say, well, Steve, I've always been taught to look at the daily bars. And uh, if I want to find out the trend, then I have to also look at the weekly. So the weekly and daily must be in sync with each other. Listen, we're not once again going to tell you how to trade. That goes against our concepts and our philosophy. But in my 40 years, I have found no consistency in using that technique. None at all. I know it's like a, an urban myth to me because it never really worked. All that has served for me is to keep me out of some good trades while I'm waiting for both to line up. So it's much better just to have the overall trend on our buy sell line down here in sync with the short term trend, which is the pet D. So now, as you can see, at this point on this large downward move, the overall trend and the short term trend were in sync, both the bars as well as the tool on the bottom were a red to orange red. So now you don't have to worry about looking at a higher time frame. Everything's right in one place. It's really simple. It's in the chart in front of you. Keep things as simple as possible. So when you, and you can see right here now, now that you know how to, how to trade with these, you see that, boy, there's no reason why you ever should have bought this. If anything, you should have been going short or at least out of this altogether. Now, if you're a more aggressive trader and you like to go short, what we do in our courses give you some techniques. Now, I say techniques, they're not strategies because a strategy is a full-fledged uh, method that comes with uh, exact entry points, exact stop placement, exact exit points. Whereas a technique, it's just giving you some high probability uh, entries to trade, but it's not telling you exactly how to do it. So let me show you, share with you one of the techniques we have for the PET D. You can sell short the second consecutive update that is colored red by the pet D. So we're looking for two updates that are red. Well, we have one update here and we have another update here. As you can see, they're up because you have an open body. See, we open here and close higher, but they are outlined in red. So you have one, two. 
that gives you a technique to go short if you like to, and look what happened, okay? Now, if you miss that one, here's another one, up one day, up another. They're both colored red, outlined red. The reason why they're hollow is because that's uh, an up day. It's, we open here and close higher. And that's another shorting area. And then you had even one more, one, two, so do you see how trading it can be really simple when you get out of the way, when you stop trying to listen to what other people are saying or indicators or, or uh, you know, announcements, economic numbers? They only serve to complicate. And once again, I'm saying this not to be arrogant or condescending. I'm saying it from firsthand experience. Those were all the same things I followed 40 years ago, and they didn't work for me. So why do you think they would work any better 40 years later? The only thing that has sustained my trading for four decades is listening to the market. And that's what the PTS Primo charts do and our courses do. We teach you how to listen to the market. Okay, so you would have fared much better by using our techniques on their first pick. Let's go to the second technique and we'll share with you one of our strategies now. Because up until now, we've just talked about techniques and trend identifiers. Let's talk about a full-fledged strategy that does come with all the rules for entry, stop placement, and exit. This is our most popular strategy today because it's the most consistent one. It's strategy number four. So let me share with you some of the highlights. It's for all traders from beginners to advanced. It doesn't matter if you've been trading for a couple of weeks or for 20 years. It makes no difference. Everyone gets the same standard benchmark, and then we work out from there to, to model it to meet your needs. It was originally designed for traders looking to catch quick momentum moves. When I first started trading this on the floor four decades ago, we were in and out of a trade in, in five minutes using this technique. But now we've devised ways in which you can stay in the trade days, weeks, even months if you'd like, okay? It's intensity level from one to three if one is the most intense of all strategies you've ever traded where you can't even leave the, the computer or monitor, and three is the most relaxed where you can enter an order and come back two days later. It's right in the middle. It's a very moderate number two, okay? It only uses one indicator. That's how simple it, you, you, know, you need to be able to have a consistent strategy because it's based off of a pattern. And I can't divulge what the pattern is because it wouldn't be fair to the people that have purchased the strategy, but it's very simple and we teach you what to look for in the course. This strategy is so popular because it can be transferred onto any time frame, any direction, and any market. So if you're a Forex trader as well as a stock trader, that's great. You can use the same rules to any market you're trading. Now, members of the course receive uh, automatic buy and sell indications. They receive the up and down arrows that will automatically tell you where a signal has been generated. But remember, this is for educational purposes only. It goes against our philosophy to simply dish out arrows and tell you where to buy or sell because then you would take yourself out of the game and you wouldn't know why you're buying or selling. We wouldn't be any different from anyone else. They are there to teach you what to look for. So you could check your work and then you simply click on the arrow button to see if you are in line. Ultimately, uh, and eventually, most of our students don't look at these after a while because they know where the signals are just by looking. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that every signal works out perfectly. That would be silly. And uh, if anyone tells you that they're right 100% of the time, I would run from someone like that because that's not the way things work. Okay. Not every athlete hits a home run every time they come up to play. Okay. Not every um, uh, entertainer has a hit movie or a hit album. So it's the same way with trading. Not every trade works to your advantage each and every time. But the beauty of our methods are in their consistency, in their ability to bounce back and many times recoup the small losses right away on the very next trade. Now, I'm going to give you one of the rules to this strategy. I've talked about it before, but uh, and some of our students have said, you know, this is so simple, but it really does work. And that is the setup rule. And here's the rule what we're looking for. We want to look for a bar that closes in the top or bottom 25% of its range. And people always say like, well, what's the importance of that? I mean, you know, why would that matter? Well, if our philosophy is to only listen to the market, this is the market giving you a clue as to which direction it wants to go to. So why wouldn't you listen to the market? You know, most people, once again, we're trained to listen to outside sources, tell us what to do, but we're never trained to listen to the chart we're trading. At specialist trading, that's all we do. We train you to listen to the market so you won't have to waste your time and most importantly money on all these useless things that really show no consistency. So if the overall trend is up and you see a bar, regardless of what time frame, it could be a, a tick bar or a monthly bar, close in the top quarter of its range, this is an indication to buy. And this is the setup for our strategy. 
Uh, conversely, if the overall trend is down and you close in the bottom 25%, this is an indication to sell because the market is giving us a clue as to which direction it wants to go. And I can't think of a better source than the market you're trading giving you a clue. Okay, so let's apply it to our second uh, stock here. This is UA. All right, we're going to strategy number four now. Now, remember, this stock actually performed pretty well the first week or two, and then it basically fell out of bed the last portion of May. Let's do the first thing that we always do with any of our methods is we want to see what the overall trend is. So once again, we go to the strategy tab line here in green, press on buy sell line, and it will, in this case, produce on the very bottom what the overall trend is. Remember, blue is an overall uptrend and orange reddish is an overall downtrend. So they were right to consider buying UA at the uh, beginning of May because the overall trend was up, as you can see. But there's no structure. I mean, what, what are we basing this off of? OK, just because it's going lower. So even though we've been coming down while the overall trend is up, we want to look for some type of a sign coming from the market, not from the, the inner workings of the company or their earnings. There's no consistency in that. Let's listen to the market. So what do we have here? Well, we have a bar that closes in the top 25. We have another one that closes in the top 25. And coincidentally, if we click on strategy four tab on our PTS Primo charts, it will automatically generate the signals. And there were two buy signals here. So had you taken the very first one, well, according to the rules of, of our method, you would have actually exited right here. You made roughly about a point in this stock. This is a, a very inexpensive $18 stock, okay? But that's a nice, that's a nice profit in two or three days. And you would have entered and exited right here, just in time for the market to fall out of bed, and then we turn to the overall downtrend. And as you can see here, for the last week or two, the trend has been down, and guess what? We have a bar closing in the bottom 25%, and coincidentally, it just generated a sell signal. <clears throat> now, there's another way to even fine tune your trades even more and add a higher level of consistency, and that's by, once again, adding the pet D, because we wanna see if the short term is in sync with the overall long term, okay? So if this were blue in the bottom here and we had buy signals generated, a good way to confirm it is to click on the pet D once more and we wanna make sure that these bars are colored green. Once we click on the pet D, we see yes, they were confirmed and that's a good sign that it's going up and we would have exited and been flat and waited for the next trade. Now, since nothing happened, now the overall trend is negative it's going lower and the pet d colored this red so this is a sell signal okay see how simple this is and it's all based off the market nothing is based off volume nothing is based off support and resistance nothing is based off what the institutions are doing nothing is based off fundamental news once you take our courses you see how simple it is to listen to the market it's just that we've never been taught how to do this before all right, let's look at our next strategy, which is strategy number eight. We're gonna apply it to the last uh, recommendation that they had. And let me tell you about some of the highlights of this particular stock. Now, this stock is different from strategy number four in that it's designed to pinpoint strong stock moves. Now, many times you'll see a very strong stock move after a signal has been generated. Not guaranteed, but you'll see it happen a lot. It's a moderate intensity level number two. And this is different from strategy number four in that this is an indicator-based strategy. It's not based off a pattern, it's based off of an indicator and it has a dynamic exit. Remember strategy four, we knew in advance where we should exit. There was that exit point right there. With strategy number eight, we actually don't know where we're gonna be exiting. We have to wait for the market to tell us when to get out. Once again, members will receive automatic buy and sell indications through our add-ons or if you're lucky enough to have the PTS Primo charts, you can just click on uh, you know, the strategy and it will generate the arrows. But remember, this is for educational purposes only. We want all of our members to paper trade first so that they understand the process. It is in no way in our best interest for you to simply blindly take signals because I can almost promise you that you'll lose money. Why? Because you don't have any idea what you're doing. You don't know what it's based off of. You don't know where to enter, where to place your stop. You're not uh, implementing the strategy correctly, okay? As with strategy four, everything we teach and trade here is based off consistency. Nothing works 100% of the time, but we have a very uh, confident uh, students who have told us in the uh, edge of consistency with all of our methods. So 
let's apply AZO to strategy, uh, strategy number eight, I should say, to AZO. That was the last of the recommendations. So as you can see here, coming into May, had you purchased at the beginning of May, well, you had a, a pretty nice week, but then, well, the bottom fell out and the stock really fell out of bed. This is a very expensive stock, but remember, you could apply options to this. We're not saying that everyone can buy a $600 stock, but you could easily have bought calls or some type of long strategy, all right? What's the first thing we always do? Well, we don't listen to news, I can tell you that. We don't listen to economic indicators, I can tell you that. And we don't listen to institutions and support and resistance lines, I can tell you that. What do we listen to? We listen to the market. And according to what we teach you in the course, if you click on the buy sell line, and this is all uh, full disclosure too, you'll learn what the buy sell lies in the course. Well, we knew well come, uh, a week or so before coming into May that this was in a downtrend. So there's absolutely no reason to buy this stock. Why would you listen to someone tell you to buy it if it's in a downtrend? Why would you listen to someone tell you to get on a train if it's going the wrong direction? You know, it just doesn't make any sense. But this is the way most traders trade, myself included, when I first started. And this is why most traders fail. So once we teach you how to use these, the very simple buy sell line, you would have known, nope, I'm not going to buy this. this. There's no way I should be buying this. OK. Now, let's punch in our next uh, uh, tool here, which is strategy number eight, to find out if their signal was generated. So we punch in strategy number eight, and we see, yes, a sell signal was generated right here. So, you know, why would you buy something if the market is telling you the overall trend is going lower and it wants to go lower? And according to the rules of the strategy, the strategy is telling you it wants to go lower. And this would have turned out to be a very nice sell, okay? Now, once again, if you wanted to add your level of consistency, you could have used our confirming uh, tool, uh, which is the pet D. And remember, sell signals need to be colored red. So click on the pet D at the PTS Primo charts, and guess what? These bars were green going up. There was a counter trend in an overall downtrend. And here's the first red bar. And coincidentally, it was a strategy number eight sell signal. So that should have given you the confidence to sell. Now. Uh, you could once again purchase puts or some type of uh, uh, you know uh, sell uh, uh, strategy with options you know some type of hedge, or uh, you know uh, you could have uh, if you were along the stock this would have been a great red flag to say to get out okay and you would have missed all this nice sell off okay. All right, so let's just look at these three top stocks for May that were uh, given in this website. And let's look at the results. But remember, please remember, this is just for educational purposes. Past performance is not indicative of future results. These examples are for educating you to show you how well you could have done you, uh, trading either from the website advisory or from the stock college, okay? Always invest wisely. All right, let's look at the first stock. Stock number one, BOFI. Uh, if you simply bought at the beginning of the month, you lost nearly two points or the, the stock dropped eight and a half percent. Using what we taught you with the uh, pet D, you would have made 1.43 points and the stock, you would have gained six percent in when we told you to get in and when to get out. OK, let's look at number two. UA would have lost 1.40 points and the stock uh, lost seven and a quarter percent in value. Whereas when we traded what we were uh, using for our uh, entry point, we would have made roughly about a point and the stock gained roughly about 5% of its value during that time, okay? And then lastly, AZO, you would have lost over 77 points or 11 and a quarter percent, uh, uh, the stock dropped in its value. Whereas using uh, our uh, uh, indicator and where we got in on strategy number eight, you would have actually made 87.35 points and the stock gained 12 and a half percent in your favor uh, because you were shorting it. So do you see, I'm not going to promise you that every time someone gives a recommendation, we'll outperform them. Now, that would be silly. I'm just trying to show you the benefits you get when you put yourself in charge, when you have the tools and the confidence to make your own trading decisions. As I've stated, in my 40 years of trading, this is the only thing that makes one a consistent trader, being in charge of their own trading not listening to outside sources. That's why at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies, we don't have chat rooms, all right? We don't have signal services which blindly tell you what to buy or sell. We teach you what to look for, and those signals are provided for educational purposes, a way to basically check your work. Most of our students, after maybe even a couple of weeks or even a couple of months, no need, uh, there's no need or any longer to look at our signals because they know how to spot them on their own. 
Remember, everything I share with you today is going to be offered in our elite stock trading college, which is going to start very soon within this month of June. So there's a ton of information. We just, uh, you know, just grasped a little bit of it. There's so much more that I could share with you going into this. We just really just touched the tip of the iceberg today. In fact, let me share with you what the college curriculum is going to be. It's actually going to be six weeks of classes. All right. They're going to be live uh, classes where you'll be actually be in a setting such as this uh, on the web at a time that meets everyone's needs. It can either be during the week, during trading hours, after trading hours, or even on the weekend if you like. I'm there to meet your needs so that you can learn uh, at a comfortable time, okay? And they're live classes so that we can ask questions and we limit the classes to a certain amount. We don't want them to get where there's 200 or 300 people because uh, there's just it would take too long and it, it would it'd be too many questions. So we try to keep them at a small, comfortable amount, okay? Let me share with you what's going to be included in the college. The first week, we're going to talk about the foundation and the building blocks of stock trading, things I learned on the floor, everything about uh, our concepts and our philosophy about specifically trading stocks. In week number two, we start getting into what everyone looks for, the strategies. And we talked a little bit about stock strategy number four, our most popular and uh, common strategy among our students because it transfers over so well onto any market and time frame. I'll share with you all the rules all the different variables and options you have in which to trade it and show you current examples. And then the next week we'll go into stock strategy number eight. We share with you what that was too. That's our uh, indicator based strategy, which is entirely different from strategy number four. And many times we'll catch these very large, large stock moves. Okay. And this is another strategy. You'll learn all the complete rules, entry, exit, stop placement. Now we start getting a little bit more advanced when we go into week four, we talk about the pet D. This is our most popular tool because it defines the trend. It is simply a translator that is translating what the market wants to do at that point. And that's it. OK, but we share with you how to use it by someone who's been using it for nearly four decades. And I show you all the different techniques and edges you can use to apply the pet D to your trading, regardless of you're an intraday trader or uh, overnight position trader. Now we realize that. You know, a lot of traders, we've had this in the past, the suggestion that traders say, well, Steve, I, I love stocks. All I do is look at the stock uh, market, but I don't trade them. I trade options. So week five, we're going to devote to option trading. We're going to share with you exactly how to trade options with the strategies, how to trade options with the markets and different ideas in which to implement all of our techniques. And finally, in the last class, week six, we'll cover everything and we'll talk about advanced trade management. Extremely important. This is another tool I learned on the floor of the exchange that really uh, it fine tunes your trading and the fact that it tells you when you should be trading and when you should not be, when you should be on the sidelines. We're going to put it all together and take any questions you may have about uh, implementing all of the different courses and ideas and making them meet your needs. And it just doesn't end there. Once you become a student of mine, well, you know, we're not going to just say, well, the six weeks are over. Good luck. We'll, we'll, we hope you do well. You can always uh, stay in contact with me through correspondence, through email, and I'll answer any questions that you may have. OK, so this is really jam packed, 40 years jam packed in the six weeks of live classes. Now, these strategies work great with stocks. We know a lot of people like to trade multiple markets. And they work just as well with ETFs, futures, the Forex markets, and commodities. I've been sharing that with you all throughout this presentation. So don't worry if you like to trade multiple markets or different time frames. It absolutely makes no difference. In fact, here's an example of the Canadian dollar. As we can see here, the trend was up. Someone looking in hindsight will say, well, yeah, Steve, sure, it's up, but how would I know where to buy? Well, look at this, all the buy signals that were generated using strategy number four, the same strategy I shared with you today. And if we look at crude oil uh, last year when it was going in a really strong downward uh, mode, well, same rules with strategy number four on the downside. OK, so it does not matter if you trade currency pairs, if you trade commodities, if you trade ETFs or futures. These uh, techniques and strategies will apply onto any market, any time frame. Now we have tons of testimonials. If you go to uh, my website, Specialist Trading, or if you go to Pro Trader Strategies, you'll see lots of testimonials about our past colleges or people taking our courses. Here's a testimonial from uh, a hedge fund trader who actually took my course. So it makes no difference whether you've been trading a couple of months or a couple of years or even 20 years. There's a lot of stuff to, to absorb here and you can never get enough education. So we're really trying to educate you. So as I've stated numerous times, you can be in charge of your own trading. All right, so let's recap before we go into any questions you may have. 
Remember, we tried to tell you about successful trading. The first thing about successful trading is you have to be in charge, but there are other things included with successful trading. It should be non-subjective. So in other words, if two traders looking at the same chart uh, have different ideas, that's, a, in my opinion, a faulty method. Two traders should look at the same chart and come up with the same idea as to what the overall trend is, whether you should be buying or selling, and what the good and best setups are. Now, successful trading should also be consistent. Now, everyone wants to be consistent, but what we're saying is that you should never spend your money or go after someone who's saying that this works 100 or 1,000 percent of the time. It's just, as I stated earlier, that's silly. It's just not true. That doesn't happen in anything in life, okay? Nothing wins or works all of the time. So what we're looking for is consistency, and consistency simply means a two steps forward, one step back approach. In other words, the one step back are the small losses that will occur from time to time. But when you have a method that is consistent, you're able to make back what you lost rather quickly. And that's what we try to promote and instill in all of our methods, consistency. We're not swinging for the fences. We're not looking for home runs, even though they may happen from time to time. Our goal is consistency because consistency is what sustains you for 20, 30, 40 years, not some fly-by-night system that generates thousands of percent in a couple of years and then gives it all back the next. Successful trading should also be as simple as possible. And you've seen when using the PTS Primo charts how simple it is to implement all of our techniques. And once you learn the strategies, you'll see how simple they are too. Most of our strategies have anywhere from three to five rules, and that's it. Okay. And so it does not matter uh, what your expertise level is. I don't want anyone to be frightened and say, well, boy, Steve, I've only been trading for a couple of weeks. I don't understand all this stuff. Trust me. You know, I had been trading for a good uh, nine years before I learned all of this, and my nine years of using uh, conventional wisdom didn't help me at all. So uh, once my trader, my my mentors, I should say, taught me how to trade, I had to strip away all that useless noise. And what they taught me is the same thing I teach you: that simplicity is what gets you on that road to consistency, not something that's overcomplicated. And lastly, successful trading, the most important thing, which is at the core of our philosophy, is that it should make you a part of the process. We never just simply generate signals and say, good luck, buy this one. Why? Because it's a buy signal. That's all you need to know. Or we never tell you and give you recommendations about what the best stocks are to buy. That goes entirely against what we believe in, because it would be similar uh, you know, to someone uh, taking themselves out of the game. You don't want to ever take yourself out of the game. You want to be in charge. Of the, of the game you're playing. Uh, can you imagine uh, having an airline pilot when you're in, in midair uh, coming back into the, uh, you know, the uh, section of the passengers and saying, well, what do you think I should do now? Or uh, how should I land this? Or what about a brain surgeon in the middle of the operation asking everyone, how should I do this? Uh, what's the best way to, uh, you know, to close up this operation? But this is the same way people trade. They'll be in the middle of a trade or they won't know what to do. And they say, well, what, what do you think I should buy? What do you think I should sell? What, what's your recommendation? When you say that, you're basically telling the markets, I don't know how to trade. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't trust myself. I don't have enough confidence. And I'm letting you make the decision for me. And I can't think of a better way to give your money away than to do that. At Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies, in our platform and in the courses we teach, we put you in charge. We make it simple non-subjective and consistent so that you can be a part of the process. Okay, so here's what we're offering you today. We have a great, great uh, package for you. We want you to become a member of Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies and join our Elite Stock Trading College, which is starting very, very soon. As you can see here, it comes with six weeks of detailed live instruction, two proprietary strategies. We give you all the entries, exits, stops. We give you the educational signal alerts, the pet D. Uh, we talk about option trading, advanced trade management. And I think one of the things we forgot to mention, too, is we we're talking about the pet D. You know, the pet D can also be used long term. I know a lot of people like to invest rather than just simply trade stocks. Let me show you what the pet D can do. It's not just meant for short term as well. As we look at this monthly chart of the S&P 500 index going back roughly 20, 21 years, we see all the peaks and valleys from the dot-com uh, top to the crash and then to the banking crisis here in 2008 and the banking crash and out to where we're currently going. A lot of people are wondering, well, are we nearing a top now? You know, what, uh, how will we know? Uh, because we've been going up for a fairly long time. Uh, how would I know my long-term investments 
when I should be in or out. Well, the PETD can work long term as well. All you have to do is simply add that. And we see here where the bars are green the entire way up and then red going down. What we like to do is look for consistency. So when you see three consistent bars of the same color, that's basically telling you that there's a trend change. So coming up, we could see we were straight up. And then when we came straight down here, we had three consistent bars right here. And that would have gotten you out of this strong crash going into 2002, 2003. Once you had three green bars again, you're back long in the market all the way up from 2003 or four to 2007 and eight. You see now three red bars. So that's your signal to exit the markets in your long-term position. And you would have missed the majority of the crash that happened in 2008. Now, well before anybody believed we were back on track, what do we have here? Three consistent green bars. And even though there have been a couple of splashes of red, we've never had three red in a row. Last year, we had a couple of red in a row. These are all monthly bars, but we still have not had three red. So the market is still saying it's okay long-term. Wouldn't you like to know when it's time to get out? Well, the pet D can help in this way. Another thing that comes with the course, we're also, as we stated, going to give you those email alerts to help you know what to look for. Remember, we don't just want to force feed you signals and we're not trying to you know, provide you with a crutch so that you don't have to do the work. We want you to do the work. We provide signals and a signal service so that you know what to look for. For example here, this was an email to our members uh, that are part of our strategy number eight individual course on the 18th, okay? What they will receive will be, uh, you know, all the different uh, strategies, signals that are, uh, we feel are the best ones for that coming day. Now this was, uh, uh, this was emailed on the 18th for entry on the 19th. But here was a strategy number eight buy signal in BBY, all right? So let's look at the stock. Someone, who trades with traditional wisdom here has been, you know, using the traditional ways of looking at, you know, volume, looking at what the institutions are doing, support and resistance, uh, economic indicators would say, Steve, why would anyone want to buy this? There's, there's absolutely no uh, trend in sight. You're getting whipsawed. Uh, there's little volume. So uh, I've always been taught, stay away from things like this. All right. Once again, where are you getting your research from? From outside sources. Listen to the market. What's the market telling us? Well, the first thing we do is want to find the overall trend. Click on our buy sell line, which is right here in the top left hand corner. And guess what? The entire time for the last three months, two months, I should say, the trend has been up because the color ribbon band here is blue. And what, how we like to say this is uh, uh, red sky at morning, trader take warning. Blue sky at night, traders delight. Okay, so this is telling you that even though the rest of the world, uh, the economic community, all the indicators might be telling you to stay out of this or go short, we're saying, well, actually, you know, look at this from a buy point of view. They're, they're, we're in an overall uptrend. So don't think about uh, staying away from this. There may be some uh, great opportunity here. And speaking of strategy number eight, well, guess what? It generated three signals. Now, nothing much happened from the uh, first week of May coming in uh, all, all together here. But as we can see, the stock ultimately gapped up. Now, obviously there was some news event or something happened which caused the stock to gap up 10 points. Did we know that? Did the CEO of BBY call me up and tell me to buy this stock? You know, did I have advanced information about this? Absolutely not. It's not required to follow any fundamental news because there's no consistency in that either. That's too subjective. Remember, we want to keep things cut and dry. We don't want people, uh, you know, basing trades off of subjective uh, material where someone may say it's positive, someone may say it's negative. We only listen to the market, and the market was telling us a full three weeks in advance to buy this stock. Everything that was, uh, you know, here in front of you, detailed and displayed here in front of you, you will learn in the college. So, trust me. I feel extremely, uh, really strongly that a year from today, you will have wished you became a member of this course. We're already halfway into 2017. Are you anywhere near where you thought you'd be at the beginning of the year? I can almost guarantee that most people in attendance today are nowhere near where they wanted to be, okay? Do yourself a favor, start teaching, uh, you know, uh, teaching yourself how to listen to the market. We provide you with that education, okay? If you learn how to listen to the market, I really have confidence that your trading will go up to the next level. Now, the information in the elite college, if we put it and sold it all separately, would roughly cost you close to $10,000. Is that much information provided 
in this six week course. There's roughly 40 years of information provided in six weeks of live classes. And that the value is close to $10,000. We've discounted that with instant access for all the uh, attendees today, roughly about 50% down to $49.95, but we're also discounting it again. We're dropping it another 10% down to $44.95, and we're going to offer payment plans, okay? So this is for a limited time. So if you can't come up with that one lump sum, you can contact ProTrader Strategies for a small down payment. You can still be in the class, okay? And you can have a payment plan structured to meet your needs. And remember, this includes one year of trade signals that are for educational purposes so that you know what to look for. So here's how to take advantage of that. Uh, contact ProTrader Strategies. Best thing if you want to put together some type of payment plan is to call them directly. There's the number provided. Now, the link if you want to sign up is right at the bottom, but it's not live. If you want to just go on the link for more information, click on the uh, link in the chat box you see in the far right-hand corner. And I'm going to leave all this information up here while I open up the question and answer box. And I want to thank you for holding off on any questions. And let me ask a few questions here. Um, hello, Mr. Primo. You're the best, and I'm going to make money and become your student. <laughs> okay. Well, you're more than welcome, Gene. But uh, remember, I my uh, philosophy is, you know, we're trying to teach you, you're in charge of your own trading destiny. That's what I guess what I'm trying to say. I, I'm not trying to say that I have the best signals, I have the best methods. No, it, you know, because we can have people that take our methods, but don't study or do the work and don't do the homework. And they'll inevitably lose money because they're not becoming a part of the process. They just won't let go of how they've been trained uh, prior to this and which is basically tell me what to do tell me what to buy tell me what to sell we don't believe in that at specialist training we give you the work and we, we put everything for you which is basically simple you just have to do it so if you're going to be successful it's going to be because of you okay uh, Amika is asking uh, would strategy four and the pet D not have correctly identified those trades in the three stocks how did you know you should have used strategy eight on AZO oh well you know with the PTS a platform, all you do is have to click that on and you can see when a strategy has been generated. I believe there were no strategy four generated in ACO and one was generated in strategy eight. So it fit perfectly. Okay. Uh, Leon is asking, can we get a recording? Yes, Leon. All you have to do is contact Pro Trader Strategies. They'll send you a link to this. Okay. Uh, people are asking about purchasing. Remember, anything dealing with purchasing or discounts or payment plans, contact Pro Trader Strategies. They'll be able to work with you. They, they, you know, there's no obligation. You can call them, which would probably be the best thing. Call them directly, and they'll work with you for any discounts or any payment plans. And uh, you know, if you can't come up with a lump sum, I, I, I totally understand. You know, uh, forty-four uh, ninety-five is still a, a large amount for some people, but that's okay. You don't have to come up with that in order to be in the class. Okay. Uh, Jeffrey asks, what about scanning for the best stocks to trade? How, we, how do we identify them? Well, we provide that. Uh, we have scans for you. And if you uh, are a part of the uh, PTS uh, Primo charts, there's a great scan, which automatically scans everything on a nightly basis. But we talk about in that in the course because, <clears throat> you know, in the beginning, we mainly want you to know what to look for. So we don't want to use scans as a crutch and just say, OK, um, well, I'll just scan and you tell me what the best stocks are. In the beginning, we focus on just being able to identify them on an individual basis. And once you, once you know and feel confident about it, then you can scan. And we show you how to do that in, in the class. And there are many ways we have scans for, for all of these, okay? Uh, great questions. Any more questions while you still have? Remember, anything concerning the, um, uh, the, uh, the um, discounts of this particular uh, uh, classes that are going to start very soon or any type of payment plans, Contact ProTrader Strategies. They'd be more than happy to work for you. They have they have uh, 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 consultants manning the phones right now. They can put together any type of payment plan you'd like, but you know you must talk with them first. There's no obligation. Okay. I believe class. Some are asking me when class is going to start. I believe they're going to be starting within the next two to three weeks, sometime towards the end, middle at the end of June. And once again, they're live classes, but we will record each and every one of them. So we understand that not everyone can attend each and every class. Sometimes things happen or you're uh, you know, uh, out for the day. That's okay. Everything is recorded as well so that you can uh, you know, go back and record. Now, there will be homework. It's, this is a college, so we're requiring homework from everyone where, where you will have to go back and check your work because that's the only way I know that you're progressing. Remember, I'm going to be your mentor. I'm your instructor. So it's not, I'm not just telling you 
press this button and uh, that will tell you what to buy or sell. You have to learn how to identify these. That's how you will become a consistent trader. Okay. This is a college. This is not just simply a signal service. Okay. Any more questions? This is a great question. Uh, remember, Pro Trader Strategies, the information right there in front of you. If you have, uh, going forward, if you have any questions, contact them. Uh, once you become a student of mine, you will get my private email address and you will be able to uh, contact me uh, on a nightly basis whenever you'd like. And I'll answer any questions you'd like because once you're a student of mine, I'm your mentor for life. Okay, I'm, I'll be there even five years down the road. If you want to email me with a question, I'd be more than happy to answer it for you. Okay, as we conclude, as I stated earlier, look at how your trading has been going thus far for 2017. Most likely, it's nowhere near where you wanted it to be. Do yourself a favor. Start learning how to listen to the market. And most people say, well, I don't know how to listen to the market. I've never been taught that. I'm always taught to listen to economic indicators. I was always taught to listen to the news. I was always taught to listen to some guy in a chat room. You won't have to worry about that anymore. Once you learn how to listen to the market, which is what I teach you, all that will be pushed aside and you'll say, boy, trading is so simple now. It's so much simpler than I thought it was going to be. So that's all you have to focus on and you will be able to get on that road to consistency, okay? In conclusion, I want to thank you so much for attending today. I hope you got something out of this. I hope you can see uh, how well and how much better you'll be able to do if you put yourself in the driver's seat as to simply listening to what other people are telling you what to buy and what to sell. Thanks so much for attending. And I look forward to all of you becoming students of my elite stock trading college. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.